Hi guys, it's Akhati Sachse from Mesmerize Makeup and in this video I'm going to be showing you my everyday morning skincare routine right from the face wash to the sunscreen. So the robe I'm wearing is the Dove robe. <laughs> I got this when I went for the event last month, the Glow Dove event in Mumbai. Um, and it's much easier, I realized how much easier it is wearing a towel robe when you're washing your face, applying a face mask, face scrub, because it actually doesn't get wet. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do like it and let me know if you have any doubts and you can um, write to me in the comment section. Enjoy! So I start my routine with a face wash. This one's by Bioderma and it's called Sebium Gel Mousson. It's amazing. I'm totally in love with this product. I love using Bioderma and especially this one. It's the purifying foaming gel. It basically removes all the impurities, dirt, grime and makes you feel so fresh after. This is available in India from the Fabag website and I totally recommend it. And what's cool about the Bioderma is that it's paraben free which is amazing and it's also good for sensitive skin. Now there are days where I don't use a face wash and I use the Kama Soap Free Cleanser instead. This is made with herbs, pulses and cereal. You just have to mix it with water, massage it on your face and it's a great way to remove all the impurities without drying up your skin. The best bit is that it is organic, 100% organic. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. I lost my dove belt so I wore my leopard print satin belt and I didn't realize it would show on camera. Twice a week, it's very important to apply a face scrub. This one is by Juicy Chemistry and it's the Rice Flour Orange and Green Tea Extract Face Scrub. All you have to do is mix it with water, apply it and massage it gently on your skin. It smells so good and it does remove all your dead skin cells. So you will feel a lot fresher and your skin will feel younger immediately after you use this product. Please don't forget to use a face scrub. It's extremely important if you want a youthful complexion. Next, again, twice a week, use a face mask. This one is the Sea Soul Dead Sea Facial Mud Mask. I actually received this in one of my fab bags, so it will be available on the fab bag website. Gently apply it on a slightly damp face and cover your face entirely with this mud mask. It's made out of Dead Sea plant stem cells, Moroccan argan and a few other really cool ingredients. Keep it on for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's completely dry. Don't forget to apply it on your neck as well. Once you're done, wash it off. I would say ideally take a damp or a hot towel, squeeze out all the excess water and then wipe it off. I've taken the long route. It's going to be really hard to remove um, the face mask directly with water. Luckily, I'm wearing a towel bathrobe, so it's not really making too much of a difference. Otherwise, it's so frustrating when water falls on your t-shirt, you know, when your t-shirt gets wet, especially when you use all these masks. Okay, so now that I washed my face, um, you can see my robe has gone a little grey because of my face mask. Uh, the next step I'm going to be doing is toning. For that, I'm taking a cotton pad and this is the Forest Essentials Rose Water. Why I use pure rose water is because a lot of products in the market, especially the rose water you get in um, you know, the supermarket and stuff, has paraben and lots of chemicals. So even the Dabo rose water, which I thought, you know, back in the day I used to use the Dabo uh, rose water, but I just turned around and I saw how pathetic the ingredients are. So I highly recommend to use fresh pure water or you can also, um, if you have the patience, you can boil uh, rose petals, filter it out and then cool it down and then refrigerate it. The best thing is you can also put this in a spray bottle so it's much easier. Um, you can take it refrigerated as usual and just spray it on your face. Fresh rose water acts as a very good toner, it kind of soothes your face, it feels really nice and it tightens your pores. The next step is um, I usually apply a serum. Serums are lightweight, they penetrate deep into your skin so it's really important to use a serum before you use a moisturizer or a day gel. Uh, this one is called Vitamin C Serum, it's called VC15 because it's 15% of vitamin C. I bought this when I went to meet my dermatologist. She highly recommended this one. Her name is Dr. Sandhya and she's from Chennai. She has a 
uh, clinic called Skin Principles in Alvarpet. So that's where I bought this from. Wait, hold on. I think it's almost over. Hold on. Let me squeeze the last bit of it. Ah, perfect. So you actually have to just add about four or five drops, okay, for your entire face. Vitamin C is a great serum because it sort of brightens your complexion and it also is very good antioxidant and just slap it onto your face. So it kind of gets between your fingers, so you have to scrape it through and again just keep dabbing all over your face. It will add this sheen, so sometimes if you have very oily skin you may feel this is making your skin oilier. But I don't mind because the benefits of vitamin C are just amazing. It's, it's great. Every time I've been using the serum, it's sort of, I feel like my skin gets better, even the texture becomes better. So, highly recommend it. <laughs> Next product I'm going to be using for summer, which I really feel works for my skin, is the Forest Essentials Pure Aloe Vera Gel. I don't like using heavy moisturizers during summer, so I prefer using something as light as a gel, which is water-based. So if you see, you just need that much. That is more than enough, okay? Not even a pea-sized amount. Just apply it. What happens is when I use creams and face scrubs, my face turns pink. That's very normal. I have slightly sensitive skin. So this gel sort of cools it down, soothes it, and um, it doesn't make your skin oily at all. Don't like to blend, blend when I use my moisturizing creams, especially when I just want to soak and absorb into my skin. I prefer just slapping it or pressing the product into my skin but you can also do this moving your fingers upward and outward and when I apply creams which actually absorb into my skin I'm trying to avoid chemicals so I'm using more of like organic products chemical free paraben free just so that um, you know I've said this before that because with makeup you use so many chemicals I'm trying to go organic with my skincare as much as I can so this gel works really well, especially because it's going into my skin. Now that I'm done with actually hydrating my skin using the aloe vera gel, I'm now moving on to the last step in my morning skincare routine, which is sunscreen. I can't stress on how important it is to apply sunscreen every single day because remember the first signs of aging is due to sunlight, okay? You get wrinkles, fine lines, pigmentation, dark spots, all of this is caused due to sunlight. So please don't skip your sunscreen, it's extremely important and you can't substitute your sunscreen um, for your moisturizer or vice versa. You can't do just the moisturizer or just the sunscreen, you have to apply both, okay? So this one is by Lash Shield because I have very oily skin and I don't want to cake it up too much. I prefer going for something which is non-oily, silicon based and it's just really smooth and it doesn't feel heavy. Okay, so the one I'm using is by Lash Shield. You get this at any pharmacy. This is SPF 40, PA++++. So it will help protect from UVB and UVA rays. This is how much sunscreen you would require for your face and neck. Um, they say a dice sized amount, the size of a dice, a playing dice. That's how much sunscreen is needed for your face, okay? So there's no point applying too little. You have to take a good amount of sunscreen for your face and neck. And then again, slap it on. Now, of course, when you first apply it, it might seem too heavy. But as you blend it into your skin, it will disappear. Don't forget your ears, guys, and your lips. And remember, it takes about 20 minutes for the sunscreen to become effective. So do apply it right after you come out of the shower, finish your skincare, and then you're going to start getting ready so that by the time you get out, you'll be set, you'll be protected. So that was my morning skincare routine. I hope you found this video useful. Do like it, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye.